I don't, I don't play as Desmond enough. So, what's the latest? Learn anything interesting while you're exploring? Oh yeah, baby. We're working on Bend some over. weird stuff to uh, the yeah. end. Trying to engineer new bodies and store their minds inside computers. Failure after failure. It must have been hard for them. I worry about it too. Come on, bend over again, and they baby. say there's something in here that'll help us. Nope. But what is it? Why is it locked up if it's exactly what we need? I don't know. Maybe it's dangerous. Maybe they wanted to make sure only you could reach it. That's the other question. What makes me so special? I guess we'll know once we open the door. Dude, I'm always special, dude. Hey, I hope it's not uncomfortable for me to ask, oh. but what happened with Lucy? Oh, I just stabbed I her in know. the chest. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said anything. No, it's fine. I really don't know. I was talking to my dad about it. It's, it's hard to say. I mean, Juno definitely took control, but I think I agreed to it on some level. I think I let her in. No. <laughs> That's not right. It, it wasn't her. Not exactly. It, it was more like a, a program. Does that sound weird? It, it showed me things. That's kind of odd. What'd you see? That if I didn't stop Lucy, Abstergo would get the apple, and we'd all be dead. I still don't understand why she turned on us. I'm sure she thought she was doing the right thing. I gotta get back to work. You might want to do the same. Tch, <laughs> work. Work. What's up, Pops? Have... Have we ever tried to make peace with the Templars? Throughout our history, there have been moments. Several, in fact. But... It's impossible. There are existential differences. Insurmountable. If there were to be unity, it wouldn't be a truce so much as a submission. But knowing what's about to happen, wouldn't it make sense to try and talk to Vidic? Come to an arrangement, even if it's only temporary? We'd all be so busy watching our backs, nothing would get accomplished. <laughs> Imagine that. We're more productive at war. Well, have we ever tried sending in someone? Doing to them what they did to us with Lucy? Or Cross? We have, and it's never worked. We've sent people who were either too weak and found themselves turned, or too strong and were unable to carry out the charade. I just feel like we all want the same thing. We use the same words, but that's all they are, words. In the end, it all comes down to freedom. We seek it, they detest it. And so there's never an end to the fight. Not until one side is completely gone. Is that even possible? Probably not. Our two groups have existed in one form or another since, well, since forever. But things can be better than they are. And that's something. Did you look for me, Dad? When I was gone? Every day. Really? Come on. I mean it. Every night I'd look, searching for your name or variations of it, hoping you'd slip up. Abstergo only found you first because they had better access. A few more days and it would have been me. Well, I'm here now. And I'm glad. Do you think Lucy regretted what she was doing? I used to think I knew her well, but clearly that wasn't the case. So I really can't give you an honest answer. She seemed so sincere, though. Like she really wanted to make a difference. So they all seem... Yes, well, when I first met him, I thought the same thing about Cross. It just keeps happening over and over again. What does? Everything. Don't get weird on me, Desmond. <laughs> no, Close up. it's fine. Close I'm up. fine. Don't worry. All right, then. You should think about getting back in the Animus. Close Gotta up. find that key. We should probably get back to Connor. Get out of the way, old man. I'm going to Shown. What's up, Shawnee? Oh, I, unbelievable. What's up? Your politicians are constantly referencing the Founding Fathers and insisting they must have been in support of one thing or another. I have never seen such a blatant disregard for history. That's just typical political propaganda. It's also dishonest and delusional. How can anyone claim to know what these people wanted based off scraps of paper and wishful thinking? 
they're looking for intent. What these men envision for our country and its future. Idealistic and unlikely. I don't think most of your presidents and senators and judges care what the founders thought. They just want to know how they can bend old words to achieve modern goals. Who cares if they were deists or theists or wanted a central bank? Why do people need the validation? What should matter is what you, as an individual, believe and why you believe it. What, are we so insecure that we have to find 18th century letters to validate our beliefs? Oh, look, Mum, a dead man agreed with me. Maybe. If you transpose the letters in his shopping list, you can plainly see he was on my side. Jesus, Sean. It's a cynical way to look at it. <laughs> Doesn't make it less true. I keep trying to understand how men like Washington and Jefferson dedicate their lives to the pursuit of liberty and equality, yet have no problem owning slaves. It's hypocritical in the extreme, and your history books make only passing mention of the subject, as if, as if it were of little consequence. They had a war to win. The country's future to secure. How could they deal with all these issues at the same time? Spoken like a true apologist. We hear it today, too, that matters of civil rights and equality must wait. There are conflicts to settle, economies to salvage. What do any of these things matter if the people are not free and equal? All of them. I wish there was a way for us to share what we learned from the Animus with others. Imagine being able to accurately answer questions about the past or experience lost civilizations. But how would you cite it? We can't just reveal the machine's existence to the world. Why not? Oh, right. what the hell? It would be dangerous. And we still haven't found a way to manage the bleeding effect. Maybe when we're done saving the world, we can look into it. Even if we do manage to Rebecca's save listening to the us. apocalypse, it's not like the Templars are simply going to disappear. I suspect our fight will continue long after this latest battle is finished. Well, doesn't that leave another... Oh, look at the time! Oh, doesn't time fly? Look, I think it's best we get you back in the Animus, hmm? So how do I put this power source in? Come on, chop chop. We need to find that key, Desmond. It's not going to happen with you out here, is it? Where do I put this power source in? Yep, yep. Okay, well, let's go here. What's up here? Is this where I put it in? The... You said I could put in a power source. You lied. Something. If we could not meet the sun's cruel embrace, perhaps we might rebuke it. Already we could generate the fields to protect us in times of strife. But these were small and simple things. To replicate them on a scale the size of a world. We lack the energy to make it so. Half the world, they said then. It is better than none at all. We tried. Again, we failed. A quarter, they asked. Let me guess what happened. Even this we could not do. A sixth, an eighth, a tenth, they cried. The answer was still the same. Perhaps in time a city might be spared. And it was time we did not have. So we moved on. Desmond looks really different in this game. Really different. 
Please save me at least the bathroom. And what? What the? Wonder what's inside. Oh, this is where I put it. Only one way to find out. get through here. What is this? What does this mean? Leave Brittany alone. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, seriously though, what does all this mean? I'm gonna punch someone. Ah. Well this place is pretty much Stuff. This so this was opposite of freedom. And dangerous. What we tried next was worse. What was it? Oh my god, cliffhanger. Is someone recording this? Well, other than me, but like, are they recording this? Oh man, that was close. Thank god I knew I could make that jump. Easier. Make it more simple. Oh my lord, more cutscenes. Our first instinct was to travel back, to change the past, but we could not find a way. But forward, we could look forward, and so here we sought to see beyond ourselves and know what was to come. Is that why you're here? You're looking First, forward. we wanted to learn if our work would oh. succeed. But the answer was always the same. No. So we moved on to other things. But she remained. 
the one you call Minerva. In time, she too stopped looking, and instead began to speak. She called out across time, in the hopes that you might be saved. Ezio, she hid messages where none might find them, save for you and those within this place. Fascinating. Who was that? Tired of it. The cryptic warnings, the threats. Just tell us what you want! But they are. We saw the Nephilim there. We seemed like grasshoppers in our own eyes, and we looked the same to them. Imagine trying to explain all this to a two-year-old, to a grasshopper. When they said the will of the gods was unknowable, they entered. Literally. I killed her, you know. I killed Lucy. It was the apple, son. It was Juno. I saw what she was. What would happen if I let her live? I could have stopped myself. I mean, there was a force there. But I didn't have to. I chose to. Desmond. Lucy was going to betray us and take the apple back to Abstergo. I saw the satellite launched. I saw them turn it on and then... It failed. Whatever's on the other side of that door, it benefits Juno. We need to be careful. 